Cardiff and he travelled up to London to meet his brother who was coming in from America. So then he took him to uh, Buckingham, uh, to uh, House of Ballam. He said, well, I'm going to take the belt. Oh, he said, 10 years. Oh, he's been down five in America, he said. And he took him to um, the, uh, uh, the Boston Cathedral. He said, well, I'll take the belt. Oh, he said, about eight years. Oh, he said, but that was four in America. So with that, they travelled back to Cardiff. And as they come into Cardiff, they were passing the Millennium Centre. And his brother said, how long did that take to build? And his brother says, well, I don't know. He said, it was just a piece of waste ground when I bat it this afternoon. He <laughs> <laughs> said, let's keep reviving alive. Now, do you remember that meeting in Beulah? Mm -hmm. And it was Julie Morgan, I think, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, Sue Essex. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the HSBC bank closed earlier this year. So where is everyone? Not in the village for sure. Let's keep Rubaimid alive. I, I'm actually speaking with a very happy heart because I'm so proud and so privileged to live in a wonderful place like Rubaina. You only have to go to other places and I can't wait to get home. My son lives in Wimbledon and they have everything there on their doorstep, including Wimbledon Common. But he says to me, why don't you come up here and live? we got space. I said, I want to get home, Eric. I just want to get home to Rubina. And that's how I feel.